Now at five, a new program rolled out in the capital city to help residents who've been dealing with ongoing floodage and flooding rather and sewage backflow problems. This program started at the beginning of this month, but now activists are raising a red flag over why some people are being denied the funds. Channel 3 Hartford Bureau Chief Aya Galal is joining us right now live with much more for us from the capital city tonight. Aya. Well, Mark and Aaron, I spoke with activists today, and they tell me they're concerned about the number of applications that are getting denied. They're worried that people are going to become discouraged from applying and hence not get that much needed help. The damages are real. The flooding is real. The problem is real. Lisa Vivian's family owns this mixed-use building on Albany Avenue in Hartford. The flooding issue started um, several years ago. It initially backed up with four to five feet of raw sewage um, and is flooded several times thereafter. And that's why Lisa's family was eager to apply to the Hartford Flood Compensation Program, a $5 million program the State Comptroller's Office launched at the start of September to help Hartford residents who dealt with flooding-related issues in their homes or businesses. But Lisa recently found out the application was denied because even though her family's business is in Hartford, her parents live outside of the city. Very frustrating and challenging. It was um, a nightmare, uh, the best way I can explain it, um, the things that we had to go through. In a statement, State Comptroller Sean Scanlon said, as outlined in the legislation, qualified applicants must both own property in and live in Hartford. We are encouraging them to still submit applications so that my office has a holistic view of the community needs. But activists are not happy. Why do you have to um, fill out a W-9 and why um, are business owners now uh, rejected and denied because they don't live in Hartford? It is not a just thing. It's an injustice to the people that live here who also pay taxes. We are told that 94 applications have cleared the preliminary review process. Now, for those who have been denied, they can appeal and they have to do so within 30 days of that decision. Live in Hartford, Egg and Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Aya, thank you. Right now,